Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> You know, moving moving off that, you know, let, let, let's talk about where, where Jay Aston is from. You know, talk to me a little bit about your your background, where you was raised and all of that. I mean, me, I'm from Crown Heights. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty like everything. I'm from Crown Heights, man. I've, I, but I'm from everywhere. If you want to be technical, I can go anywhere. Anywhere my feet take me. I'm good <laughs> everywhere. That's I'm good saying. everywhere. That's what's up, got you. Now, now I, 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 I'm not from Brooklyn, so I'm not too familiar with everything. But I know I hear a little rich screaming Borough Side and all that. Is that, is that the city? That's where you from, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Got you. You know, um, like we all know how how tough these areas could be. You know what I'm saying? For you personally, what was something aside aside from death? that you probably seen what was something that that you experienced out there like things that you've seen on a day-to-day -day basis growing up out there i, I didn't see robberies yeah. carjackings all types of shit right? crazy how old were you when you were seeing all that shit i'm pretty young i don't know i don't know if people think i'm old i'm only 20 years old i just turned out you heard damn son. i just turned out you heard? i'm pretty young yeah so, i'm about 14, 13, 14, 15, I'm seeing this shit, Yeah, that's, 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 that shit that, you know, it's crazy. I be talking to people and I'm always like, yo, we go through so much grown man shit at such a young age, yeah. man. Word, like, like, how do you, how did that affect you watching all that go down? What was the thoughts you went, went, what were the thoughts that went through your mind? I feel like, I feel like that's a big reason why I'm still alive today. Cause it's just a thing called minding your business, you heard. <laughs> if it don't concern you, you don't got nothing to do with that, you heard. <laughs> it's niggas that just put they self out there and now look, you getting yourself into some shit for me. Yeah. In order to survive, you got a mind with yours, you heard. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's a fact. I say that all the time, man. Um, when people be like, what's one of the keys to life? Focus on you, bro. Mind your business. <laughs> just, just worry about what you got going on. Yeah, got you, got you. How You're about only you? responsible for you? Exactly, exactly. How about your um dynamic in your household? What was what was the living conditions with with your mother, father, and siblings like? What was that like? For me, it's me and my mom and my sister. Okay. It's me and my mom, and my sister. You heard? Okay. For me, I chop it up with my dad on occasions, but for me, it's just yeah. me and my mom and my sister. Yeah. What's um your sister's older than you, younger than you? What's that? Nah, nah, nah. We six years apart. She younger. Than me. Okay, okay. So, so, so what is that? Do you speak to her now? Yeah, I talk to okay. my sister every day. Okay. What is, um, how does she feel she, about, um, I how... mean, my sister's fake, like, sack, because you got my sister in middle school, you heard, I was in the town, I'm rapping for me, I'm getting views, so it's like, there's younger kids tuning in and shit, kids, she goes to school with and shit, so it's like, school come, they know that's my sister for me, so it's like, people asking about it, and it's just like, that's not like my sister don't. She, I'm not gonna say she into the streets and shit, but for me, she know what's going on. She's tapped in for me, so yeah. It's just she tell me about she tell me about the questions that I get asked and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a fact. Um, how about how about your mother? Was what's that relationship like with you and Mama Love? That's Mama Love. Yeah, <laughs> word, word. That's Mama Love. Yeah, she she's strong. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Hundred percent. Or, you know, they always say, like, um, when you go into situations like this, you kind of you kind of see who's the people who have your back. And, and I always of tell course. people, well, of course. I always tell niggas like, you know, we, we grow up screaming like, you know, fuck bitches and this and that. But I remember when I've been through the toughest time, my mother was there. My sisters was there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so what is that like um, watching how much support your mother gives you throughout whatever you go through, ups and downs? I just know that's my mom, you heard. Yeah. My mom gonna support me no matter what, you heard. Gotcha. No matter what. Mm -hmm. My mom would know I'd be that wrong, but I'm still her son, you heard. Right up. <laughs> For me. Right. That's a fact, you know. Um, in the song, uh, I, I was listening to Block Messages. You know, you say, uh, tell my pops I ain't never need him. Nigga made me a demon. 
I, I said that from the heart. Um, you know, I know you say you speak to him now. Um, was it? Did y'all have a relationship in the past, or is that something that's starting now? You feel me? Think about my pops. My pops told me how to be tough. You heard? Mm-hmm. But my pops is not a consistent guy. You know those guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> not a consistent guy. He comes around, then he's gone, then he comes around, then he's gone. So it's like. It got to the point where it's like the neighborhood I'm in, I see my dad, it's like I'm seeing one of my mans because I'm just walking around and I bump into him all the stuff. Oh, shit. Sure. But that's my dad, though, you heard? But I say that because it's like, there's niggas out here that really fall back on their dad, you heard? My dad gonna get me out the situation. My dad going for me. I don't need my dad for that, you heard? Yeah. My dad already made, he already, he already told me how to bop and how to move, you heard? What to do and how to handle situations. Yeah. So that's why I said, my pops, I ain't never need him. Nigga made a demon. Got you. Got you. Was he, was he kind of like, um, we ain't got to get too much into it, but he was he kind of into the streets as well, kind of gave you some game on that? Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Got the you. reason why I talk to my dad so much now is because my dad's in dead biz, you heard? Mm. So it's was like, so it's like, I go to him on advice and shit when shit, for me, you're not going to know everything about this shit because this shit is like school, you heard? You got to learn things to know how to maneuver in here, you heard? Yeah. So for me, I probably call him and ask him a few things or for me, even when I just want to check on him, what's up? Or, or I know I ain't speak to him in a minute. I know you want to check on me. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. What's, what's, some of the, uh, what's some of the advice he does give you right now? <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> That's what I like. I think that's like the the, the key of life right now. Word up, word word. You know, um, before before the streets, what kind of kid was Jay Aston? What what was you into that people might be like, oh shit, you know, this is shocking. What was I me? Mean, I was I was I wouldn't say I was a bad kid, but I was a kid that got into shit. But like, I played basketball, you heard. Mm -hmm. But like the streets was always there, you heard. It's like yeah, the people I'm around for me. I play basketball and shit, but. I mean, this is just the environment I'm in. These the kids I'm growing up with. This is the shit we getting into. Gotcha. And then after a while, it's like, I'm getting into so much shit that we start beef with niggas. We got niggas starting beef with us. So it's like, and now I can't even go to this park down the block and play in that tournament because it's up with them niggas over there. Mm -hmm. So why the fuck am I doing this now? Yeah. I mean. Gotcha. And, and what what age would you say that kind of began? Like, like gravitating to it, kind of... Getting in the beef left and right. How old were you? I was I was fifteen. I remember this like yesterday. I was fifteen and it was just I was sitting down one day and I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Fuck basketball. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, fuck basketball, you yeah. I'm gonna do something else, you heard? Yeah. And from there, like, I, that's when I started rapping, right? But I never really okay. dropped music. I never really dropped music. So people tell me I used to make trailers and, and little snippets and shit. People used to tell me, like, you got to shoot a video. You got to take that shit serious. Yeah. But okay. me, I'm thinking, like, and I'm just a young kid. And I don't give a fuck about this shit either. I just want to do it through you, heard? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Got you. You know, that, 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 um, that, that's definitely something that, that I feel like a lot of people go through, that realization of, Shit, you know, I'm going through a lot over here. Forget that. Let, let me, I got to try yeah. something else. You know? Because it's like, it's like, people people know when not to get themselves into shit, you heard? Mm -hmm. If I know I can't go there, why would I go there? Because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, I'm going to get myself into something. Yeah. Now what? When I could have just prevented that. Gotcha. You know, I don't think the world knows how serious things could be like, you know how you saying, yo, I can't go over there or I can't go over there. Like, it's crazy to me because it's like, damn, like, living in that neighborhood, how far can somebody go when they got static that, that, all over? That'd be the thing. Um, that'd be the thing. It's really team no lacking out there, bro. If you, if you it's, it's a pride thing. People know they're not supposed to go here, but they'll still go because they want to show how dominant or tough they are. Yeah. Fuck that, you heard you got to make sure you make the whole 24 and then another 24. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or I, I, I was reading somewhere and it was just like, yo, man, um, sometimes we want to get validation from people. We want to prove like, yo, nigga, I could do this. I could do that. But the real 
the real validation is being able, like you said, to wake up every single day doing what you love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 24 hours. Nah, it's a fact. Uh-huh. Like, for me, I, I, used to, I just love, when I was in the town, I love breaking up, going to the stool, going to the stool, for me, playing in the next gym, mm-hmm. going to the stool, playing in the next gym. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in order to, for me, embrace what you got going on, you got to make sure you're alive the next 24, but you got to stay on, you got to be on, on point at all times. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. <laughs>